Hey, what's up, everyone? Ragey Golden Eagle here, having way too much fun, as always. And in case some of you guys were still a little bit skeptical that current year colleges are nothing more than adult daycare centers, I hope this will finally convince you of the truth, because this has got to be the most current year thing I've read in current year. Duke students who hijacked alumni event. Punishing us would hurt us mentally. Aw, oh, the poor dears. But this is just the tip of the iceberg when it comes to their so-called suffering. Activists who stormed the stage were shocked when alumni in the audience dared to heckle them. Oh my god, how dare they? Don't they know these parasites are doing all of this for their own good? They should be getting thanked, not heckled. All you shitlords listening to this right now, you gotta stop and look at it this way if you're ever stuck inside of one of these events. These disruptive little shits are doing this for your own good, so you're not supposed to heckle them, you're supposed to thank them for it. When they barge into your event and they ruin it, you're supposed to thank them, not be mad. Because reasons. Two dozen student activists crashed an alumni event at Duke University on Saturday, using a megaphone to make their demands and drown out the speaker, Duke President Vincent Price. The students were surprised to discover that their interruption had irritated many alumni in the audience, some of whom heckled the activists and turned their backs while the demands were read. And you see, this is what happens when you allow the lunatics to take over the asylum. They have no fear of repercussions at all. They just go up and interrupt the university president at their leisure and they don't care. What's he gonna do about it, huh? And on top of that, this was an alumni event, and alumni are a huge source of funding to a lot of these colleges. It's almost as if they strategically picked an event to say, we don't give a shit about you, what you gonna do about it? Well, it turns out they're thinking of doing something about it. Not really the reaction I would have hoped for, but I guess it's a step in the right direction. Now Duke's administration is considering whether to discipline the students, whose behavior unquestionably violates university policy. Well, then that means they should be unquestionably disciplined then, doesn't it? What, what are you guys considering, seriously? That doesn't sit well with them. Protest leader Gino Nuzzolillo accused administrators of aggravating the mental health problems of student activists. Holy shit, seriously. The administration's letters informing students that they are under investigation have had the effect of exacerbating any pre-existing mental health conditions. Alright, you know what? This should actually make the decision easier. These children are clearly not anywhere near ready for the adult world where there's going to be consequences for their actions. So not only should the university expel them, but they should also do everything in their power to have these children institutionalized so they can get the mental help they actually need. They clearly are not fully functional adults and should not be allowed out on their own in society. For everyone's good. But if you thought we hit the peak of first world whininess already, we haven't even scratched the surface yet. So we already know that these children are throwing a tantrum over the fact that they may actually have to suffer some consequences for what they did. And they had a little crying session over the fact that some people dared to heckle them. But it gets even worse. The protesters noted that they were surprised by the extent of the alumni's negative reactions. Student organizer Bryce Crack Cracknell, okay, that, that's kind of an unfortunately funny name, added that he was disappointed that the administrators focused more on stopping the students than angry alumni. Fucking seriously, this, this is current year. This is not CNN. This is a real article. This is real news. Instead of actually going to the alumni and saying that's not appropriate or removing them from the space, they were more worried about us. Holy shit. I could understand if some of you listening to this right now may have slight blood pressure elevation, but what the hell is someone this stupid doing out of a mental asylum? It just doesn't make any sense to me. Just look at how entitled this little shit is. He thinks he has the right to bust into someone else's event and completely disrupt and destroy it. And then when the people at that event who showed up for that event are none too happy about it and decide to voice their displeasure, they are the ones who are in the wrong now. They are the ones who the university security and administration should be asking to leave. 
Oh, uh, pardon me, sir. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We totally understand that the event that you came here to see has been destroyed by these whiny little children. But you saying mean things to them was a little bit too far, so we're gonna have to ask you to leave and just let the children play out their temper tantrum until they're satisfied. This is seriously what they believe. I dare you to tell me with a straight face that modern day universities are not just daycare centers after hearing this. I fucking dare you. Remember the time when higher education used to be for the best and brightest? Now it just seems to be a dumping ground for adult babies that can never grow up. And if you think I'm being harsh, just wait till we get to the next line here. This was not an uncommon opinion among the protest's leaders. Nuzalio expressed disappointment that the adults, whose job it is to care for us, failed to do so. The adults- Jesus Christ, are you fucking kidding me? This is college, not middle school. You're all supposed to be adults. Wow, I've known for a long time that the US public indoctrination system has been a colossal failure, but now, this right here, this is the ultimate result. This is what gets shat out of our K-12 schooling system here in the US. This right here is America's future. Let's just say I completely understand that you may have lost all faith in humanity. So let's see what they had to say about potentially actually being punished for their temper tantrums. I think, no, no, let me stop you right there. You don't think, you feel. You are incapable of thinking, you fucking child. I feel we are particularly concerned that the university knows that by sending these conduct letters out, that they will be concerning the students and that they will be exacerbating any pre-existing mental health conditions and, like Bryce said, traumatizing and starting new ones, especially after Saturday's issues. Well, if you are so concerned about exacerbating other people's mental health issues, have you considered that what you're doing may be doing just that? Oh, but you don't give a shit, don't you? Because those people aren't human to you. After all, empathy is something that develops as you slowly transition into an adult. And seeing as how your development stopped right around the age of five, I can kind of understand why you don't have any. I feel that among the many things that we share in common with the administration, the number one thing is that we all want to see this university be better and be more accommodating and make changes. I agree. Let's start by kicking these children out and getting them institutionalized. We're not sure why they're not taking that approach too and reaching out to us in good faith rather than initiating a conduct process. Well, maybe you should have thought about that earlier. Maybe you should have reached out to them in good faith instead of initiating an event disruption. The lack of self-awareness on display here is just ridiculous. Let me repeat, this is America's future right here. This is what our quote-unquote education system is shitting out. This is what's gonna be calling all the shots in the most powerful country on the planet. And at the very least, the author of this article really nails the point home in this final paragraph. These students want to have it both ways. They want to fight injustice, perceived injustice, mind you, engage in civil disobedience like the activists of yore, and thumb their noses at the administration. At the same time, they want administrators to make them feel safe and comfortable, shield them from criticism, and play the role of the protective parents. They want to be celebrated as resistance fighters and treated like trauma victims. The student activists of current year require a lot of hand-holding as they overthrow their oppressors. Bravo! Well said! I have to once again quote Sargon, because he was dead on when he pointed out that uh, these aren't revolutionaries. These are children LARPing as revolutionaries. And the longer we keep letting them get away with it, the longer it's gonna take them to actually grow up, if it's even possible for that to happen at all anymore. And that's all I gotta say, guys. Thanks for listening.